Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh I am Irene from Topsy and on this occasion I will be demonstrating and explaining my physics practical exam titled free fall motion before I get started with this experiment I would like to define what free fall motion is it is any motion of a body where gravity is the only force acting upon it and later in this video I am going to talk about the effect of air friction on free fall along with the altitude Now for the first part of the experiment, we're going to look at the effect of air friction. For this, you're going to need a sheet of paper, a book, and a sheet of paper shaped like a ball. First, I will be dropping the book and the sheet of paper at the same time. As we could see in the video, the book fell first. And this is because the paper had a wider surface area which caused higher friction with air and this slowed the paper down. Next, I'm gonna drop the book and the paper ball at the same time. As we could see in the video, the book and the paper ball both fell at the same time. And this is because they were both experiencing a free fall and all objects will fall with the same rate of acceleration regardless of their mass. Now for the second part of the experiment, to carry out this experiment we're gonna need a measuring tool, a stone, and a paper ball. For this experiment, I'm gonna be dropping a stone and a paper ball from different heights, from 0.3 meters, 0.6 meters, 0.9 meters, 1.2, and 1.5. I start with dropping the stone from 0.3 meters. I repeat the same process for the rest of the heights. Finally, I did the exact same procedure for the paper ball and after I was done with all the experimenting, I used an editing app to get the time so that it could be more precise and accurate. After I got all my data lined up, I used these two formulas to find the gravitational acceleration and also the speed. Here is the result for gravitational acceleration and this is the result for the speed. In conclusion, free fall motion is motion of a body where gravity is the only force acting upon it. All objects will fall with the same rate of acceleration regardless of their mass. In addition to that, even though the sheet of paper and the paper ball both have the same mass, they didn't fall at the same time. This is because of air friction. And air friction causes the object to slow down as it falls. We also got to know that the higher the altitude is, the longer it takes for the object to fall. But the gravitational acceleration is not affected by the altitude of the object. And that is all for my practical exam. I hope everything was clear. Thank you for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.